amount of day for the system to generate your ideas. So that's providing enough. We don't have any hang-ups or anything like that today. Hopefully it'll all go nice and smooth. Then we're going to get you a registration form. You're not going to be able to put that ID number on there. But when I get them back from Mr. Boyd, I can write them on there for you. And I will also get those numbers to him so that you'll have them. We do things kind of backwards sometimes at the college. In that, you got to create this account to get your ID, but when do I get my number when I go to try to sign up for a class? I don't get it. So we're going to try to help you out as much as we can. So first thing, everybody go ahead and go to cccned.edu. Get to this screen that you're seeing there. Again, cccned.edu. We're going to try to help you as much as we can. Try to kind of walk around, make sure everybody's on the, kind of on the same step as everybody, everybody else. Okay, looks like we're pretty good. From there, see in the upper right hand corner, apply now. We're going to click on that. Now you're going to get to this screen. Right above where it says welcome, you see create, a, create an account. Go ahead and click on that. Now this is the page we're going to be on. If everything goes well, this might take 10, 15 minutes. As long as we can all kind of keep up. What we're going to do, we're going to enter in our contact information first. Amy, would you mind just scrolling down a little bit? You're going to do all of this, answer everything, please. And then when you get to high school GED information, I want you to stop. Because there's some critical steps that I want to walk you through on that to make sure we're doing it right. Okay? So I'm going to give you that opportunity to go ahead and do that top portion, personal information. And for those of you that have time taking a class before, I'm going to have people log in. Please your password. And so, like I said, when you when you get through that personal information, but you get to the high school part, that you're locked out. You have your email would be your first name and the last five numbers. Oh, sorry, sorry. Or the one that you used to create your account. Is that what? Oh, it's so, when we first created that account, we called this new Okay, how's it going? I don't want to hurry anybody. Everybody there? All right, so 
Here's our next step. See under where it says high school GED information, it says add. Click on add. Okay, now, this is where it takes you. Scroll down just a tiny bit, because you're still gonna need to be underneath the GED information. Because we're gonna do a search, okay? Right at this point, where it says organization name, we're gonna leave that blank. So now we'll do the drop down for country, and the United States is right at the very top. Whoops. Oh, they hit for me, good. What? Bad block. What's going on here? Oh, there it goes. Maybe. All right. Oh, good. I didn't see the mouse. Thank you. Okay. No, we're not in Montana. All right, so we're gonna put country, state. Now we're gonna type in under city, Grand Island. Now, we're gonna hit search. See right below that where it says results found? We're gonna to go to that drop box. See, right in the middle, it says Grand Island Senior High. Make sure we click on that. And here's the big step, you guys. Underneath that, we also have to hit select. If we did it right, you'll see now it's got Grand Island Senior High in the box right above where it says browse. Am I not get to that? Okay. Now we're going to fill in a couple of these other boxes here. Attended from what month? We're going to say we started school here at Senior High in August of juniors. What year would you have started? 2018. Okay. It was August of 2018. If you're a senior, I mean, we got any seniors? Okay, and you already got your So everybody else is doing it? Awesome. So now we could say our anticipated graduation is going to be May. All right, juniors, when do you get to graduate? 2022. Have we graduated? No. As much as we want to say yes, we have to say no right now. We're going to skip the GED. Campus visit, that's up to you if you want them to con if you want admission to contact you to schedule a campus visit. Okay, next part. Definition of student type. Everybody here? For this drop down, we are going to say we are a high school student taking a college course. Got it? When do I plan to graduate? 2022. We're going to say we're going to plan to start these courses in the fall. And when do I going to start college? I used to think this didn't matter, but it kind of does. We're going to assume after we graduate, fall of 2022. Even though we're starting them right now. Ideal career. We don't have to fill in anything there for right now. So now I'm going to go to primary program of interest. 
I know some of us might be thinking we're going to get a certificate or something, or we're going to get a diploma, or we're, you know, those kind of things. For right now, we're just going to say course only. So when it says plan to pursue A, we're going to go clear down here to course only. And so for program of interest, that's our only option. So far, so good? And location is going to be Grand Island Campus. Almost done, guys. It's up to you if you want to answer either one of those two questions. Last step. We're going to create a password. A password that you'll remember. You want to write it down. Okay? It's got to be at least six characters. I'm one of those guys that like to use same password a lot and a lot of different things because I'm old and I can't remember on our different passwords. So it's got to be six characters and then confirm it over here on the right hand box. All right. Here's the last part. What if I forget my password? That's when you'll be calling the help desk and they'll, they'll ask you a security question. You're going to create your own security question here. Make sure it's one that's unique to you. What is my dog's name? What color is my car? Um, don't use mother's maiden name. That's one that those security hackers like to use to try to Okay. If you want to put your mom's first name, that would work. That would work. You're going to create the question over here and then put the answer to that over here. Why are we doing that? Because we've already found out if we forget our password, we're going to be calling the help desk. And that's the question they're, they're probably going to be using to ask you this. Are you sure you know who you are? <laughs> kind of thing. Okay, I'm sure you are who you say you are, but. Mine's going to just be cartoon. All right, bear with me here. Great cartoon. There's a, a dog sitting at a security desk. The big security nameplate on the front. And there's another dog standing in front of the security desk. And the guy at the security desk is saying, Sir, I'm sure you are who you say you are, but I'm still going to need to sniff your butt. So, oh, come on. Help me. Yes. It was funny when, when I saw it. When we got this stuff done, hit create account. If we did it right, it's going to be thinking for a few seconds. And then it'll tell you you have a profile. And you'll have to scroll back up a little bit to see that profile. Anybody not get the profile? Okay. So, You heard me mention help desk on your sheet that I gave you. Here in the middle where it says help desk. This is again, if I can't log in, I need help with this or that. That's the number we call. Okay? Now, what did we just do? We did our first step towards creating that ID number. You're not going to get it here today. It takes about a day to generate that. Okay? Now, what will happen is I'm going to give you registration forms. You're going to fill them out. You're going to take them home, get them signed, that kind of thing, bring them back to Mr. Boyd. Once I get them back from him, by that time, I will be able to go into the system and find your ID number and I can put your ID number up. 
for me that you register. How are you going to find out your ID number? I'm going to tell him to go have a look. So, why is that important? Let's go right above where it says help desk. How do I get connected? How am I going to get into my online class for this class? This is why you've got to have your ID number. Because your username will be your first name and then the last five numbers of your ID number. Your initial password that the college automatically sets for you the first time will be first, or excuse me, not first name. CCC pound and the last six of your social. How are they going to know what your social is? You're going to put it on the registration form I'm about to give. Okay? Once you use that ID that to log in the first time, you can change that password to whatever you want it to be. But that's your initial password. Okay. Questions on that? Here's your registration form. This is why we ask you to have a pen. Because the reason pen is better than pencil, we have to make copies of this, we have to scan these into a system. It doesn't show up as well. Okay, we have to do this each and every time we register for classes in the semester. So we'll be back again probably in November sometime to do this for a spring class. At least you don't have to create the account again. You don't have to do that one time. Okay. Before you do anything. We're going to sign it so you don't forget. Go clear towards the bottom. See where it says student signature? Sign it right now before you forget. Remember, guys, if you need a pen, come and grab one, but that is your pen. Don't lose it, don't put it back. <laughs> Okay. Let's look at the top real quick. ID number, again, I'll put that in for you. This top third, you're going to fill out yourself. Here's my number one commandment on this. Since I'm talking to a room mainly full of young ladies, I'm not going to sweat this out as much. Right? Usually, it's usually the guys that have the worst handwriting. Right, guys? So, write neatly when you're filling this top board up. Portion out. I will tell you this. Kind of in the middle of that box, see where that kind of grayish area is? It says early college staff only career pathway usually I fill that in for you but I'm going to give you my blessing to write in criminal justice because that's where this pathway is, is criminal justice the rest of this you're going to fill in now as you're filling it in please have an ear listening to me while you're doing that you're going to be taking these home. Why do you got to take a home? To get a parent signature. Awesome. Good job. We've got to have that parent signature. Here's the other reason. How many of you know your social security number? 
couldn't shop. When I was your age, I couldn't have, I wouldn't have known. So you want to make sure you get that written in. By the time I finished my first semester of college, I knew my substituting number very, very well. Those were the days when that was your ID number. That was now. Yeah, you can go ahead and fill this out. Do that. That's what we want you to do. Because if you have questions. All right, guys. So just to reiterate, what's your first homework assignment for this class? What are you going to do with that registration form? You're going to get your parent signature. When is that going to be due? Monday. Gabby's got it. On Monday, you need to bring this form signed and filled out to me. That's the only way that you're gonna be able to get into this class, get the college credit, access everything, that has to happen, all right? Mm -hmm. So Monday, this is your first homework assignment. Y'all are juniors, you understand what's expected. Let's bring this in on Monday, prepped and ready to go, so you can have everything knocked out. Because we can't get you started on that online class until this is returned. I have to take the registration. We have people in the registration area have to take all this stuff, enter it into the system. That's why we ask you to write neatly because someone else has to read this accurately. Okay? And I will get these from Mr. Boyd. Because the first person that has to be able to read these is me. <laughs> be able to look up your ID number. Okay. Yeah, I usually lose these. No, I just figured you eat. <laughs> yeah, talk to me after class. Yeah. So, Mr. Dunn, you said that for any college staff, you can write in criminal justice. Writing criminal justice. Normally, that's my responsibility. Oh, the cost of the class. Who's going to pay for this? The school is. Not Mr. Boyd, the school. <laughs> so, on that bottom right hand portion where it says payment options, there's a box that says school district. You can go ahead and put an X in that. It's a huge thing that Grand Island Public Schools is doing for you because each class on average is $107 per credit hour, and you're taking three college credits with your intro to criminal justice. That comes to $321 for the individual class, plus textbooks and materials can typically range into the hundreds. But the district felt that this was so important for you to have this experience and have this education as you progress through the academy that they are willing to split the bill. So just know that this is close to $400 for each individual student that the district is gonna be paying for for you to have this experience. We really want you to have a good experience. We want you to get into your class, not have any problems with login, understand how the system works, and then have that fun experience, you know, taking that first intro or first college course. The cool part is you're gonna have this online class is like no other online class because you're going to actually have live instruction along with it. Normally in an online class, everything you do is through the computer. You have to read a bunch of stuff, take the quizzes on there, take the test. You've got the benefit of having Mr. Boyd, Mr. David, who also walk you through this stuff. I 
So, any any questions of me or of Jane? Guys, I'm handing out to you guys a little program of study handout and a little bracelet that CCC Crim, okay, CCC Criminal Justice, is giving you guys. Now, if you take a look at this program of study, if you're a junior, guys, by the end of your pathway, you're going to have taken four college classes. That amounts to 12 credit hours, all right? And you can achieve what it, what's called a criminal justice certificate. Okay, you'll get a certificate in criminal justice once you've taken these four credit hours. So you're a junior, you're gonna start, if you take a look at this little program of study handout, all right, you're gonna start on intro to criminal justice, is what you're taking right now, all right? Then courts in the judicial process, then uh, corrections, and then finally police. And so you're gonna take those four classes pretty much in order, and you're going to be able to achieve those 12 credit hours and get that certification, okay? Two things, it's all for free, which is pretty sweet, and also, you can transport, you can transfer it anywhere in the class. I wanna to add to this, and I didn't get a chance to tell the other class, but the Census Community College finds it so Guys, I know it sounds like we're trying to sell you something, but you know what's cool about it? You don't even have to buy it. You get it for free. Literally, you get all this for free. So, stay on top of it. Now, if you did not have your Chromebook today, you need to go home and you need to walk through that handout, okay, that Jamie and Jerry gave you, that shows you how to set up your CCC account, right? I'm going to have this recorded Zoom link as soon as I can buffer it, edit it, and get it posted on campus. I'm going to post it on Canvas. I'm going to send an email to the whole class. So you can open it up. You can follow along and make sure you are ready to go. All right? Now, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but what is your first homework assignment in this class? You need to have that registration consent form, all right, signed, completed, and turned into me. When is it due? Uh, it's due on Monday, all right? So make sure that gets in. You guys are juniors. You can handle this some easy stuff. All right, so you followed along well. I know we're kind of in the waning hours of class, but we're gonna do two things before we leave, all right? Number one, I'm gonna stop recording this nonsense, all right? <laughs>